Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at this set of Galore 50 piece soft pastel colored pencils. I did get this set from Timu as part of their influencer program, along with two other sets. I do have an unboxing video if you'd like to check out and see how they were packaged and what other sets I got. I will put a card in for that video. I am a Timu affiliate. Any product links I post in the description, I do get a small commission. So it does help fund the channel so I can bring you more product reviews. So let's get started. These are classified as a soft pastel colored pencil. So I'm not super familiar with working with this medium of soft pastels in pencil form. I do use the stick form of the soft pastels mostly for backgrounds in my coloring books or my coloring pages. I think a lot of us in the coloring community probably are familiar with those more so than the pencils. And so this is the stick. This is what I would you would consider um, the stick version. Very um, a messy, very powdery kind of consistency. So I was really interested in checking these out in pencil form. I do have one small set of pastel pencils. I have like a small 12 piece set. I think I used them once and I didn't really know what I was doing with them. So I kind of just, they ended up in a pile in a box somewhere else. So I'm really looking forward to checking these out now that I have a little bit more coloring experience. It's almost my three year coloring anniversary as I'm filming this. And I have heard people saying they use these as almost like um, a first layer or underpainting for their coloring pages. So that's what I'm thinking about using these for, not so much for drawing. So let's open them up. The tin just says the regular color stuff. They're all the same. Um, I usually do like to review tins, but I feel like just um, on repeat, if I keep telling you the same stuff over and over again about these color tins, because they're always the same. They just have like a nice little different picture, scenery on the front and you know, the back says the same stuff all the time. So let's open up the tin and see what the pencils look like inside. They have color chart on the back with their light fast ratings. My own personal opinion, I don't really believe in light fast ratings for budget sets of pencils, especially I don't think chalk pastels in particular are very light fast. Like I said, I'm not really that well versed in chalk pastels in general. So this is basically just going to be a first impressions and a swatching video. We have the swatch card with all the color names on it. They look like some really nice color names. The pencils look really pretty in the box. They're just a basic type of wood finish with a little color cap on the end with the color name, the color number um, starts with a P, I guess for pastel, um, their light fast ratings. Actually, I think right now on Timu, they are around they're under $22. I think maybe they might be like $21.59. I did do some comparison shopping on Amazon and they're $35.99, at least at the time I'm making this video. So a lot cheaper on Timu. So I don't think I'm going to sharpen these right away just because I'm not quite sure what kind of sharpener would be best for these. If you guys can give me some tips, I'd appreciate it. What's the best way to sharpen these? Um, I'm afraid to put them in my electric sharpener because they're. I'm assuming they're going to be like really soft and dusty I might mess up and get stuck in the sharpener. So let me know you, you pastel pencil experts, let me know in the comments what pencil sharpener I should use for these. So we're going to jump right into the swatching and then we'll do some two trays. Then we'll do some, maybe we'll try to try them out on a coloring page a little bit and see how they work out. So we'll come back after the swatching and talk a little bit more about these.
Okay, you guys, so we're all done with the swatching. I really like the reds and the purples. I think they're all really nice and pigmented colors. I did make a mistake at the beginning of my swatching. I started doing them in the wrong order. I started going across instead of up and down. And also I noticed while I was swatching them, some of the barrels have black writing and some of the barrels have silver writing, which I thought was kind of odd. I do think the black writing is a lot nicer than the silver, just because it's easier to to see and read than the silver. Um, so I thought that was a little strange. I don't know why some of them are black and some of them are silver. But other than that, oh, and then I did notice there's a spelling mistake over here. They spell Prussian green as Prussian green, but the actual pencil itself is spelled correctly. So it wasn't the most pleasant swatching experience for me just because of the consistency of the pencils. It's kind of like a chalky type of consistency. So some of them were a little bit smoother than others. Some were a little bit more scratchy. I don't know if it's because I didn't sharpen them first before I swatched them. I do usually like to sharpen my pencils before I swatch them. Usually there's some sort of like kind of factory film over the pencils that you have to get rid of before you use them. So that could be part of the issue there. And this is probably not the best type of paper to use these type of pencils on just because it's a smooth kind of cardstock paper. Ideally, you would use a more textured type of paper. They make special paper specifically for pastel work. But like I said in the beginning, I'm just basically planning on using these for coloring pages, coloring books. So with that in mind, I thought we would try them out a little bit on this Gracia Salvo Fantasy Collection coloring book. This is on Amazon or KDP type of paper. And I thought we would test them out a little bit on this page because it's a smaller image. And I thought we would try them on the skin. That is what I usually like to color. So I wanted to test out and see if these would work out well as a nice base layer or underpainting. Let's see if we put one or two of these layers down first and see if we can color on top. And maybe it'll be a little bit of a quicker process for coloring. And I'm not gonna do the whole entire page, just maybe her face and maybe her shoulder.
All right, so what do you guys think? I just did a little bit of coloring on this page with these pastel pencils as a base, and I colored on top with some Black Widow pencils, and I think it came out pretty good. I think I like how it worked out. I don't know if this is something I'm going to be doing on a regular basis. I did actually like how they were starting to come out without the colored pencils on top. I think maybe I might try just all pastel pencils. I did spray some workable fixative on top of the page. Actually, I'm almost out of it, so I don't know if I sprayed enough. So hopefully it, it'll, I'm gonna leave it out and let it air dry for a little bit and hopefully it'll stay intact and not get smudged but it was a nice little experiment, expanded my coloring repertoire a little bit, and I am glad I got them and tried them out. I did sharpen them. I used, well, actually I put one in my electric sharpener. I was being like a rebel. I was like, let me try it in the electric sharpener. And this one, this color flesh tint worked out well, it came out fine and then I was like oh I got bold and I was like oh let me try this one this soft beige I put it in and it was not happening it broke in the sharpener like I thought it was gonna happen for the other one so I think some of them are a little bit more firmer than others I do actually think these have maybe a little bit more binder in them they do seem a little more firm and less loose than the set that I have and so I ended up just using my comb sharpener on this one and it worked out fine so I guess I won't try it again in the electric sharpener lesson learned so I will leave the link for this set down below if you want to check it out it's a really good price right now I don't know if it will stay that price the prices do fluctuate I'll leave all the info for you guys about the affiliate program, about the influencer program. Everything will be down below in the description box if you have any questions. Of course, you can always ask. And I hope you guys all have a really great rest of your day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you guys next time.